Portland Tents, New Shave Editing. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. So, tomorrow is the last day. Today's Saturday, 9.47 a.m. Tomorrow is the last day for hashtag on BBS.live theme of the week. Hashtag right and white and blue week. So we're going to be doing it again. So pre-shave, going to be the same pre-shave. Phoenix Stars and Accoutrements, Kane, North Pole Barbershop 2 pre-shave. So red and white stripes, that's what we're going to do for the pre-shave. Brush we're going with, we're going to be going with my DS Cosmetic Barber Pole Brush that I re-knotted with a 24mm Maggard's 2 band Badger Knot. That is what we're going to be using for red, white, and blue theme of the week. Got my hot water already right here. Lather the Shaving Coffee Cup and Matt Pesarsic and Douglas Smythe. So we're going to let that soak on the counter. <clears throat> okay, so razor we're going with. We're going to be getting go, 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 bleep, going with. You can either get this the Christopher Dave Christopher Bradley razor. It's got it's like the um open comb, closed comb, A through I think like G or H. There's a bunch of plates. You can buy the whole razor, or what you could do is buy just the handle, pommel. So that's what I did. This is from Carve Shaving Company. Red aluminum, I think I'm saying this right, I'm not sure. Nop, put it right here. N or Nof, I think you say it Nof. Nof pommel 3.50 inches. And that's what, the, that's what it came in. You could buy the razor or you can buy just the handle. And that's what I did, I bought the handle. Modeled off the, uh, inspired by the Gillette red tip. That's what they use, that's what they did the red for. Very, very cool. Nice and grippy. <clears throat> oh, I got a lot written down. Uh, there's different colors too. So there's the Nof hand pom Nof pommel. There's red, orange, green, blue, black, and clear. Clear is actually just like an, an unanodized silver color, but it's like just silver looking. Uh, handle like handle is decorated and with a pattern that is inspired by the classic red tip from Gillette. So that's the razor we're going to be using. So what I'm <laughs> My Overlander got an upgrade, but what I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be using the Overlander. I'm gonna use an, a, my Fasson Slant <coughs> Razor, my white one, Fasson, I think it's called Twist. It's Fasson Twist Slant Razor. And that's what I'm going to be using today. DE Blades is something I got, I bought something and it came, came with this. <laughs> These are the Gillette, I've never tried these before. Gillette Super Stainless. These are from the 1980s. And these are, uh, where did I read it at? Yeah, these are from the 1980s. And it's actually, these are actually made in France. Now, I don't know if these are the same as these, because these are Gillette 7 O'Clock Super Stainless. If you guys know, if you know, is this the same blade as this? Just shipped to a different place and rebranded or whatever because these these do say super stainless on them and these are super stainless as well i don't know so anybody watching that's actually more learned and intelligent than me could actually teach me something so open these up and these aren't like a rare type de blade or nothing so it's not like oh you opened the package yeah i did open the package so we're gonna pull that out of there i've never used these before all right, if it's gonna come out of there, maybe it does not wanna come out. Hang on, right back. All right, I'm back, yeah. Very, very difficult to get out of there. Like they didn't wanna come out of there. So I used a um, screwdriver, just popped this part up and I popped one out of there. So Gillette Super Stainless Blade, let's see. See how it goes today. It did not want to come out of there. All right, put that in there. <clears throat> my washer on there. That. I'll load it up in there. There we go. Very, very cool looking. I thought that would look neat. Putting these two different razors together. All right, soap we're going with. Something, I have a sample of it from Raza like a long, 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 long time ago. Like four years ago, I think. So I already knew what this smelled like and I've been wanting it for a long time. And it is Chisel Face Groomatorium Ghost Town Barber Shaving Soap. Very awesome, good, good scent. Oh, this smells so damn good. It says, this is a classic barbershop scent with a Western twist. Main notes being bergamot, basil leaf, 
white patchouli, oak moss, Texas cedar, leather, smoke, and gunpowder. I get the leather, I get the smoke, and I get the gunpowder like a little bit. It's a very like darkish, um, it's a leathery type scent. Maintaining rugged good looks. Yes, this smells really, really damn good. It's been around for a while too, so I finally got a set of it. Tallow based, and yeah, it's in there just like that. Is that all the talking points we have today? <clears throat> yes, that is all the talking points. Get this loaded up in the potato bowl and be right back. Okay, I'm back. With the face. She shave. Cane. Barber pole. North Pole Barbershop. Whole barbershop type thing today. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Rub that in. That was good enough. Hit the cam with the head. Okay, yes. Yes, I've been wanting this set for a long time. Finally got it. It's leathery, it's smoky, it's dark. Not your typical like barbershop type scent, but it smells really damn good. It's been around for a long time. I know a lot of people like it. Look at that, lathered up nice. It is tallow based though. So you know, tallow based soap. Throwing it all over. How you doing today? How y'all how y'all doing today? It's Saturday. Today is Saturday. <clears throat> yeah. Did you guys have a good fourth? All right. I just stayed home. Pass one. Listen to the neighbors, fire off fireworks and stuff like that. Very, very light being aluminum too. So keep that in mind. I just stayed home. Four days growth, gone. Neighbors blowing off fireworks it is what it is. But they didn't do it very long, so it's only like an hour or two. Finally fell asleep, got up and went to work. Not a bad blade, not a bad blade so far. Like I said, I don't know if these are the same as the Gillette 7 o'clock greens, and they just rebrand them. If you know, let me know. I actually don't know. And they call Gillette Super Stainless. Those ones particularly, these ones are made in France. So I don't know. So far it's shaving pretty nice though. And I did look on eBay. It's not like it's a really rare, a really rare DE blade. So far, shaving all, shaving nice. Mm -hmm. Not, not bad. So, told you guys last, I think toward the end of the last video, 
been watching Breaking Bad. I am actually almost done with it. I am on season six. Been watching it like the last couple weekends. And I'm on the very last season. Yeah. And I want to check out that El Camino. I guess there's a show better called Saul. I guess it's a prequel. It tells you about uh, like where Saul came from and everything. But I'm going to check out El Camino. I think that's supposed to be more about, like, Jesse and all that, so... Yeah, very good. This is nice. Not a bad blade. Seems pretty damn sharp. Got me there, oh well. Like that. This facade slant is not a bad razor either. Mm, nice, nice soap. Nice slick soap too. I really don't think I need a second pass. Yeah, I'm good. One there. Couple there because it's slant razor, but yeah. All right, clean up your right back. Came back very close, very efficient, very, very, very close. Got one right there, nothing here, one there, nothing really. P. A. L. Buck. Cold bottle. Yes, that was a damn good shave. All right, Petra and Block. Petra Face Aftershave. We're going with Chisel Face Grimatorium Ghost Town Barber Aftershave. Maintaining rugged, 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 good looks. Very good. This stuff smells so damn good. Oh, yes. I've never spilled the splash before. I just had the sample of the soap and I got the big set of the soap. Yes. It's dark, smoky, it's leathery, cedary. Smells really, really, really damn good. We're using more. <laughs> All right. <coughs> A nice, good burn to it. Okay. Yeah, it's barbershoppy, it's leathery, it's woody, it's smoky. It smells really good, and I'm glad I bought it. All right, recap of what we used today. We used Chisel Face Grimatorium Ghost Town Barber Aftershave. <coughs> the PA Allen Block. Pre-shave we did for Red, White, and Blue Week for BBS.Live Theme of the Week. Kane North Pole Barbershop Pre-shave 2. Also for BBS.Live theme of the week on Instagram. Hashtag red, white, and blue week. My DS Cosmetic Barber Pole brush that I re with a 24mm two-band badger knot from Maggard's Razors. DE Razor, we used a bunch, not a bunch, two different razors. We used my Fasan Twist Slant Razor base plate and top cap with a Carve Knopf Red Aluminum Pommel. DE razor handle. 
like I said, you can buy the Christopher da Christopher Bradley um, razor complete, or you can just buy just the pommel and get it with all the different colors that they have. Very good, very efficient. That was a very very close shave. That DE blade we used, we used the first use Gillette Super Stainless from the 1980s from France. Like I said, if you guys know if this if these are the Gillette Super, put it away. I shouldn't have. If these are the Gillette Seven O'clock Super Stainless. Let me know. I don't know. I don't know anything about these DE blades. I know they're really hard to get out of the even out of the package, but yeah. First use DE blade, Gillette Super Stainless. That is used to put in a bowl. Put the bowls up here. Put in a bowl. I always use that, and pretty fitting with scoop. That's the scoop we used, and start the show. Chisel Face Grumatorio Ghost Town Barber Shaving. So this is the towel is a tallow based soap, but it smells really damn good. <clears throat> Barbershop with a twist, smoky, leathery. It smells really damn good. I'm glad I picked this one up. I know this one's pretty popular with this company, and that is what we use today. And that is it. That is the shave of the day, ladies and gentlemen. That was very close. Very, 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 very close. So that's it. Yes, so hope you ladies have a good day, good week, good shaves. More to come. Um, links down below if you want to check anything out. Like I said, tomorrow is the last day for theme of the week, red, white, and blue week for BBS.live. We're doing it one more time. I'm not sure what Mel's going to do for next week, but yeah, that is it. See you ladies and gentlemen soon.